Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Um, I am 36 weeks, I will be 37 weeks in about two days. I just came back from my OBGYN appointment and they said that since I'm pretty much considered full term now, um, if I'm having contractions, go straight to the hospital. Um, I don't have to check in with them, so basically they're not doing anything to prevent me from um, going into labor. So if it happens, it happens. So with that being said, I figured I can show you guys what's in my hospital bag. Um, I've been packing this for a couple weeks now, ever since I was, um, I think 30 weeks I packed it, and I've just been adding little by little. So here we go. So in the first pocket, I have some you know, toiletry stuff for the bathroom. I have toothpicks, dry shampoo, I have a little brush, his and her toothbrushes, Q tips. types of lotions, just little, you know, hand lotions, uh, makeup removal wipes, a little headband just in case I want to slick my hair back. Um, here I have like a little makeup bag from Ipsy. I have a uh, nipple balm that I got from an Ipsy sub subscription. I got chapstick because I hear you can get, your lips get really dry while you're waiting. Um, I got a really good moisturizer because again, um, people had stated that your face gets really dry as well. I have, you know, like mascara here just in case, um, a little bit of blush, some lip tint just in case I want to make myself look awake, and some um, eye cream to make myself look like a little decent while I'm waiting in the hospital. And in here is just my little toiletry bag. I have a bar of soap, um, his um, shampoo and conditioner, my shampoo and conditioner. We have body wash, a loofer, a loofer. Toothpaste and a face wash. Oh, and deodorant. And the next pocket is like, you know, little electronic stuff. Um, actually, I have a second pair of eyeglasses just in case I forget my own. His charger, my phone charger, a pair of headphones. I got these and my wireless Jaybird headphones. I have my camera just in case I want to do some vlogging. Um, recording on my my uh, phone camera and an HDMI cord just in case I want to connect my um, Chromebook to the TV so we can watch some Netflix and Hulu just in case it does take a little bit longer while we're waiting in the hospital and some hand sanitizer in the front pocket I just have Couple snacks, some um, let's see, granola bars, popcorn. I'm pretty sure they'll have a microwave that we can use there, hopefully. In the big pockets, I have my Chromebook. Like I said, so this is just to watch Hulu and Netflix, just in case we're there a little bit longer than expected. 
Um, here I have a bag full of post-pregnancy for myself. Get it open. I have a couple of these adult diapers. I hear these are much more convenient than the pads. Um, I also pack some regular pads just in case. Um, some nursing pads for when I breastfeed, if I leak. And also a post-pregnancy bone. I purchased this on Amazon. This is actually a nursing bra, so it unclips right here. You can hook it back up. Got this from Amazon too. I have my nursing cover just in case people want to come visit, and you know I don't want my boob hanging out. This is a little nursing cover um, for some privacy. Privacy. I have two outfits just in case so for me to go home in um, I have a long sundress just in case if I have a c-section um, this would be my going home outfit if I do regular vaginal birth I have a black maternity tank top and just some yoga, pan yoga pants to slip on black fuzzy slippers to walk around in my own robe because the little um, hospital gown that opens up in the back so I can put this over myself to you know cover myself a little bit more if I have to use the restroom or anything um, I got socks plain black socks and these are socks that I got from Sky Zone they have grips on the bottom I know the hospital provides you with some but just in case I have lots and lots of underwear. I never know what kind of underwear I'll need, so I'm just bringing a whole bunch of different types just in case. Here, um, I didn't want to bring my electric pump. This I purchased on Amazon as well. This is kind of like a, a manual breast pump type of thing, so you kind of latch it on by like suction, and as I'm nursing, the baby, this will catch um, the breast milk that's dripping from the other breast that I am not using. It also has these little stoppers, so as soon as it's done catching milk, I can just steal that and nothing will fall out. Also has a little base, so that way you can stand up. And these little covers as well. I thought these were cute. And here I have some breast milk storage bags. This is the Nano Baby brand. This is extra thick. Um, I also Brought, I'm bringing a Nano Baby bottle to try. So here is the bottle, shaped like a boob, breast. And you just unscrew the top, screw the nipple on, and then you feed. I just want to see if she can adapt to this at the hospital. that comes this is the nano baby binky brand as well and I brought I'm gonna bring this binky just in case she doesn't like that binky hopefully she's not a binky baby I have a little blanket for her I didn't want to bring a thick blanket because it's hot out so here 
And lastly, I have two going home outfits for her. So this is a seahorse outfit. This is in the size newborn. And also another seahorse outfit. Um, this is zero to three months, depending how big she is when she gets out. So they're both seahorses. Yeah, we have a little bow, hopefully, a little headband with a bow on it. Hopefully it'll fit her tiny little head and just little mitts so that way she doesn't scratch herself. And that's it, my hospital bag. If you guys have any suggestions on what else I should pack in my hospital bag, leave it in the comments below. I'm open to um, anything. Thank you.